States today. We are just shy of it, about three degrees away from that record high of 91 at Augusta Bush Field. So it was warm, just not quite record warmth for us, but another beautiful evening here at SRP Park. They're getting ready for game time less than an hour away from taking on the Mudcats. That first pitch is uh, slotted for 705. Temps will still be in the 80s for the next hour, but we'll quickly drop into the 70s past sunset. Going to be nice out there the rest of this evening with just some building cloud cover as we head in towards midnight. Now you can see all this rain and storm activity west of us. Even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, found across the Mississippi Delta. That threat is just going to continue pushing east tonight and most likely bringing us the opportunity for rain as we get towards early tomorrow morning. This is a look ahead right to around 6 a.m. and you can see that this complex is just kind of broken shower and thunderstorm activity and you can see it really dissipates as it starts to move through the CSRA. So this will be a decaying system by the time it reaches us, but still could hold enough juice to maybe uh, produce a strong wind gust. That's going to be the main concern with it. As we get towards our Friday afternoon, this particular model does keep us fairly dry with afternoon temps hitting the upper 80s. Cannot rule out maybe there is a stray storm for a spot or two. Saturday is going to look fairly similar. Morning temps will be in the 60s, and then we're going to see a backdoor cold front move in Friday afternoon, and that could set off a stray shower storm again as we head late into our Saturday. And notice the temperature difference from this front. So Saluda will be in the low 70s with Swainsboro and us here in Augusta will be hitting the 80s. So that front will be pushing through and bring us some cooler temps heading into our Sunday. And then this disturbance does bring us a much better opportunity for rainfall heading into our Sunday. Now, if you do get underneath some heavy rainfall, you potentially could get over an inch of rain. If you just stay on the outskirts, you're just likely going to see less than a half inch. So feast or famine with these rain totals the next couple of days. Here's a severe weather threat. This is from the Storm Prediction Center. Does include a marginal risk for all the CSRA. That's a level one out of five. So any severe weather that does occur should be limited in duration and intensity. Tomorrow, the weather story continues to be the heat. High temperatures hitting close to 90 tomorrow afternoon, mid 80s for Saturday. And you can see Sunday with those higher rain chances. High temps will feel cooler, most likely only topping out near 70. Now, once we get into next week, even cooler outlook for our Monday, but then temperatures do rebound towards the middle of next week. On your sideline.